Hello, I couldn't wait anymore. It's No More Heroes Travis Strikes Again. I know it's a black screen right now, but give it a second. It'll get there. So, <clears throat> a little bit of background on this game. Uh, I fell in love with this game when it came out in 2010. The first one was in 2007, 2007. Second one was 2010, so it's been nine years, and we're finally getting a third entry. Um, it's concerning me that we're on this black screen, though, for so very long. Okay, there we go. Notice, when playing with a Joy-Con, I'm not. I'm using a Pro Controller like a god intended. So, the, the quick blurb of this game is that a weeb bought a laser sword online while he was drunk and then to justify this purchase started taking hitman contracts and then decided he wanted to be number one so he started properly you know fighting his way up through the ranks and uh during that time he became number one in the first game but decided the business charlotte will be seeing him soon enough be patient that's steve blum i can already tell you that Charlotte. Was that the girl from 2? Oh, uh, this might be... Oh, is this Bad Girl's Boyfriend? Time to play ball. This might be Bad Girl's Boyfriend. Or Ex-Boyfriend. That's Hotline Damn, Miami he's dead. playing. And you're dead. It's too late. Up now, old man. You want to play? Let's play. Pay your debt blood. Oh, yes. It's been away a long time. There's a new generation of gamers out there. Let me at least introduce myself. Meta. You murdered my daughter. Don't pretend you forgot. Now quit making this shit confusing. They need to know about the most what? assassin in video games. Holy shit! Oh, I love it so much. Your fight is here in the real world. Son of a bitch. Suda 5 1, you brilliant man. Yes, Suda 5 1. I'm with him. Mark 2, the Phantom Game Console. So this is where it's been hiding. So good to hear Steve Blum again. Ugh, Travis strikes again. So what I was saying was, oh, it's Gene. It's John oh, the cat. I love this game already. Ugh. Um. So real quick, let me let me regain my composure here. What I was saying was, during the events of the first game, you do become number one, but a lot of shit I'm not going to get into happened because that would take basically an entire video. Uh, I may go back and play the first one and the second one if there's interest on my channel for me to play those. I would have to dig out my PS3 and Wii in order to play those, however, because the first one I have on PS3 is that was a Wii and PS3 title. The second one was only a Wii title, so I'd have to... No, we don't need to say it again. Come on. I have to hold it. We, we don't need to see it again. Okay. So I'll go into options here so it stops doing that. Uh, turn the brightness up a little bit, because that usually comes through a little bit darker in the capture. Uh, that all sounds fine. Um... And subtitles are on by default. Uh, so, during the events of the first game, you take some side contract jobs while you're killing your way up to number one, and you kill a couple people that work for uh, Butt Pizza. Uh, this is retconned in two to Bat Pizza, because they wanted to be taken a little bit seriously. And you fight the new number one ranked assassin, Jasper Bat Jr., who's a little pissed off at you that you went around killing his father and older brothers, uh, who were the CEOs after you were done killing them one by one. Um, in order to fight him, because he's ranked number one, you have to fight again to number one. And you may be thinking, well, Travis was done with that business. He kills Travis's best friend as an act of revenge, and Travis is like, well, fuck this guy. So he goes after him at number two. Number two, I'm skipping over a lot of details, and I'll fill people in as we go, if it comes up. Uh, it already looks like I think Bad Girl has come up, and she's... I got the season pass with this game, and she's apparently a playable character after March, I want to say. Um, which I will definitely be highlighting when it comes out. Yeah, Bad Girl unlocks on April 30th, so right around March. Uh, Shinobu unlocks on February 28th. I don't like Shinobu. We'll get to Shinobu when we get to Shinobu. 
Um, so to explain Bad Girl real quick, she was a one-off bad guy, uh, the number two assassin, I believe, in the first game. And that was pretty much it. So I was a little confused as to why Bad Girl was part of the DLC uh, season pass. Shinobu I got. She's in the other two games. Uh, bad Girl was a weird choice. But she was an alcoholic psychopath who, and I'm not making any of this up, uh, her whole thing was that she ran around in a tutu and swung a baseball bat and launched gimps with grenades in their mouths at you to try and kill you. So, yeah, we killed her, and he says we've killed his daughter, so I'm thinking he's her dad. He also said Charlotte, that might have been the name of the schoolgirl that we killed in the second game. I can't remember. Point is... Uh, it's new game time, and this video is, by the way, going to be an hour, and hopefully up on the same day I record it. Uh, I'm going to keep recording after that hour, but this is like a, uh, this is a treat for me, more than anyone else. Ah, uh, we need to be, wait. Which one is hard? Okay, mild is clearly the middle, but, I mean, hard would, oh, and Gene the cat. He has a pet cat named Gene. Um, I mean, bitter seems like it would be harder than sweet, but normally it's like, Easy's at the top in many. I'm gonna go mild. Because it is normal canonical difficulty. This game, by the way, doesn't have anything to do with the ranked assassins thing from what I've seen of the trailers and the plot. This is uh, just a continuation of the character in a new game. Which is fucking sweet! Suda 5 1, you mad person. Already, I have no idea what is happening. <laughs> Electric Thunder Tiger 2. Are we gonna meet Thunder Rhea? What the fuck is that thing? I have no, uh... I'm so happy, though. It's not Santa Destroya, but it's still... I'm, I'm already in love with this game. Oh, wow. This looks like the highway at the end of the first game. Why am I naked? Except for my sweet shades. Oh, there's my clothes, thanks. What the fuck? Okay, first of all, I don't have control of the camera. I guess the guy on the right? Yeah, that was the dude we were fighting. Hmm. Okay, I'm, get, I'm getting a feel for the control. Thought that would have been strafing. Um, is there any way I can change that? Co-op? What? Form a tag team and start co-op. Uh, I mean, I want to. I bet my co-op player... Ah, I bet the co-op player would be a uh, bad man, which I think is the guy's name. Uh, level up in skills. Uh... Check gameplay. Can I change the controllers? That still isn't. No. Nope. Uh, well, that's annoying. Character select. Yeah, I can be Batman. Huh. I mean, I he's voiced by Steve Blum, and that is the only reason I can think I would be Batman. But, I mean, I've been waiting nine years for Travis Touchdown again, game. Thank you. I'm fine with Travis. It's all the same to you. Can I ask you something? Is this the game world? Meanwhile, death! Hey, wait, you can't just walk in here. This area is off limits. The entire area is sealed off. The government has issued an evacuation order. Whatever, man. If this is a game, I'm gonna clear it up for sure. You can't stop me. Stay out of my way. You just don't get it. Do you have a permit? What the hell are you talking about? Of course I don't. We can take you out by force, you know. <laughs> no, you can't. Oh, that sounds fun. Bring it on, then. Don't underestimate video games. Transform! That's not working. Insufficient funds, not enough DD coins. What a shame, Travis. I was going to kill you in the tutorial, but it looks like I still need more karma. Journey is not over yet. The time to destroy the world is yet to come. Look, this is taking forever. This is what sucks about games these days. It takes too long to finally start playing. Anyway, get your hands on permit before we can meet again. We'll overlook it for now. Just clear the usual mission-style events. Does it mean... Uh, I can't swipe with them. Hmm, I don't know what the thing on the right is. Weird that I can jump. 
It also seems like if I stop moving, something pops up in the middle. Like at the bottom of the screen. Whatever. Oh, is it just the money? Um... Bug Street Boys, red. Okay, strange tattoo lady. I am the creator of this machine, Dr. Juvenile. Of course. The death drive is connected to your nervous system via the death glove. Oh, good. Keep concentrating or else you're gonna die. The controls are intuitive, so you'll get used to them. They are not. In no universe should A be dodge roll and B be jump. Well, I mean, PlayStation, that makes sense. Yes. Start by going over the basics. We'll take out some enemies. Basic attack. Yeah, it's Y. First is the most fundamental attack basic. Give it a try. Well, he's already dead. Holy crap. You can also do a basic attack while running. Especially you fool against enemies as a group. We call this a rush attack. That thing I've been doing. I can also just hold it and go to town. We... Ah, but it does still have battery. wonder if I charge it up the same way. Boogie Boogie Sputnik Red? Gotten the hang of the basic attack, but there's more. Next to the heavy attack, useful against tougher enemies and enemies who guard. Go on, try it out. Five times as powerful. That was a combo, I suppose. Recharge. Uh, your weapon is almost out of power. Your attack consumes energy from the Death Mark II. But a bug in the system is preventing power from being properly distributed. You have to recharge your weapon manually to get more power. Recharge, shake the controller up and down. Or, you know... Don't do that. If your weapon runs out of energy, your attacks won't do as much damage, so recharge often. So when you got to it now. Do I Yeah, I recharge it the same way. I'm jerking off. <laughs> ah, suit of five one, you mad bastard. I have missed you. There's rubble in the way and you can't get further. This is what jump is for. What are you waiting for? Jump, jump, jump! Part of me does want to check out Badman, though. Maybe I'll do another playthrough as Badman if I like this game. And I already like this game. A pretty cool move to use is a basic attack in the air to launch yourself at enemies standing away from you. Go on, try it out. Yeah, okay. Listen up, my directions are orders. Yeah, the hand that pops up and drags the money away. That's what keeps... I don't have time to waste screwing around with your tiny brain. Do it. What happens if I keep ignoring it? Jump and heavy attacks also work best, and of course it's also good for breaking it. Okay. Yeah, what if I don't do that, huh? Dealing damage is important, but avoid and take damage is important too. You don't learn to dodge, make sure to try it out. Go, go, go. Some people probably know Suda51 best for uh, Lollipop Chainsaw. That game garnered a lot of attention when it came out. Uh, I know him best, well, for this game, obviously. I can hit R. Why? We'll wait until enemies are around. Change attacks. Looks like your weapon is fully powered up. Charge attack is simple but powerful move. The charge gauge builds as you attack enemies. So use it once it's full. When you ch use a charge attack, your charge level will go the higher the try, blah blah blah. However, the charge level decreases, you take heavy damage. Be careful when fighting and try not to take damage. Use the Choco Banana Crepe with Caramel Ice Cream attack in two-player co-op mode. I've never wanted somebody here with me to play this game more than right now. I mean, god damn it. Hold down the charge button once your power has been built up. Once it's full, you can unleash a super strong beam. It feels good. Try it out. Uh... First of all, let me jerk myself off here. Eh. I need to double tap R. Got it. It does feel pretty good, actually. That's pretty damn satisfying. I've also leveled up, which they're probably going to talk to me about in a minute. The combat is certainly... Uh, smoother than the last game, or the previous entry, I suppose. 
Gotta say, though, there was some charm to that style of combat. I do have two lives still. Gene is in the trailer, alright. Interesting. I guess I haven't leveled up. Is it just a combo meter being built in the side there? I gotta keep yourself jerked off. It's important. Ah, good. Save points. Dr. Juvenile here. So you haven't died yet? As you can see, there's a toilet there. That's not just an ordinary toilet. It's a save point. You don't know when you're gonna die, so be sure to save. For your first save at each toilet, you'll get some money and a special gift. Rad. Ah, uh, it's the same animation still. Ah, uh, I've missed this. Truly missed this game. My jacket's, uh... Also got the Unreal logo on my jacket. Or my shirt. I could get some of the other shirts. Apparently it references to uh, a lot of indie games on those shirts. Who are you? White Sheep... Man. <coughs> White Sheepman. I was reading it off to the left there, but, you know. Travis Touchdown, welcome to the world of Electric Thunder Tiger 2. You can call me White Sheet Man, I'm the memory manager here. You found the Death Ball and booted up the Death Drive Mark II. The journey is long but short. What? The survivors are desperate. After turning from the main character to the uh, ruler of this world, Triple Star lost his reason to live. You should know more than anyone, but the chains of freedom are most painful of all. That's enough talk for now, we'll meet again. I wonder if this is going to tie into the lessons and morals and such that I learned. Like, that Travis earned in previous entries, I mean. Jerk off my sword real quick, and we proceed. Skill. You just got a skill chip. Cool. Thanks, Dr. Juvenile. When you get a new skill chip, you'll unlock a new skill to use. Even a monkey like you can master them, as, so use them as much as possible. You'll end up collecting lots of different skills. You can manage and arrange them from the skill set menu within the level up and skills menu. Yep, I've already set this one for you. Test it out and show me what you got. L plus X. Solder bug, eh? Level up and skills. Okay. Well, he has his own shit. God damn it! Oh, I want a co-op partner so bad. Skill set. Shining chip. That's the only one I have. Alright. Bind characters and blow them away freely. Hold the button down to bind a character, then release it to blow them away. Okay. So it's a grapple move. L. Whoop. L. L. Oh. Interesting move. Ah, it needs to recharge. Got it. Nice! Once you use a skill, you won't be able to use it again straight away, but after some time, you'll be able to use it again, so be smart about it. That may be hard with your brains, but try to do your best. Ah, uh, insulting Travis. One of my favorite pastimes. Or running gags in this game, if you prefer. I was so low. Yep, 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 got it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, game. Ah, good old running off into a corner to jerk myself off real quick. God, it's like I never left 2010. It's not a joke about me, it's a joke about me playing the game in 2010, mind you. Alright, 
Where's my bonus attack? Apparently that only gets one of them. This is also unfortunate. My health is on the side there. I wonder what Batman thinks about all this. Oh good, I can still do that. Ah, crap. I also like that he screams dickhead when he attacks people. I can relate to this character. And if you can't, there's something wrong with you. Not personally something wrong with you, just as a person you have something wrong with you. Juvenile here looks like you've scored some provisions from Hazer. Boxes like this are full of various supply, supplies and cash. God, I wish I had a co-op partner. Nice. Be working together. Solve the mysteries, and Steve Blum would be here. I have no idea this game was co-op. For all I know about this game. Um. Okay. That wasn't quite right, I wager. Travis Touchdown, welcome to the world of Electric Thunder Tiger. Your status as hardcore gamer is well known, even here. Bet that gives you a hard on, doesn't it? Fuck, I love this writer. Fuck you. That'd be funny if I actually hit him. Alright. What do you got for me, game? I'm a bit disappointed in the music. Bug Street Boys Blue. Are they mo-capped? They're totally wearing mo-cap suits. Yeah, I'm liking the game so far. Like, the writing's fantastic and the gameplay is quite fun. It didn't used to be top-down, it used to be more over the shoulder, and I actually kind of prefer that, but, you know... It's also clearly a different game, and I'm alright with it. I don't dislike it, it's just different. Um, I'm not a fan of the music. The music could be improved. The music in the previous games was awesome. This is... looped quite a bit. I also swear this is the same place at the end of No More Heroes 1. And why did they bring back Bad Girl of all people? If they didn't bring anyone back, bring Destroy Man back. He was in the other two games. Where's Henry, man? Meanwhile, Bugu Bugu Sputnik Blue. Ah, they ain't so tough. Ah! Should quickly jerk myself off though. Excellent. And he just says fuck off. Excellent. It's very hack and slashy, which the the other one was, but it was very stiff. If that makes sense. I don't know. It's it's hard to explain without having. Played it. If, you, if you've played it, you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Saving the game on the toilet. A classic. Ah, I've got the death glove on, too. Nice touch. Power recovered. That's nice and all, but... You know, Uh. 
and, you know, top down, still running around, it is basically the same. Like, it is a lot of the same gameplay, but it was never... It was never top down. Top down is new, and the enemies usually had a bit more health than that. They took, like, uh, a couple swipes, at least. Unless you powered up your shit. Another skill card. Our juvenile here looks like we got another skill chip. Uh, say, what was that thing about on the last one where you were on the wall and uh, upside down and appeared to be dying? Sure, yeah, 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 I got it. There you can just. Okay, yeah, I got it. When you group together, most of them to save presets. Use that broke ass head of yours to find the combination that suits you best. Think I will, now that you mention it. Uh. Shining chip. What do we got? Psychic chip. There was multiple shots from the Death Glove, so... Eh, uh, yeah, sure. Test that out when we can. Hey, oh shit! Can't say I'm terribly hot to trot on the skills yet. I mean, I can try it on this. That did a fair amount of damage, actually. I might say- whoop, shit! I might save that for bosses, though. I'm also level 3 on the skillometer, whatever that means. Damn, that does good damage. That was like a shotgun blast, man. He's stunned. Excellent. I love that the sound effects are still the same. The furious motion of uh, shaking one out on the sword is the same sound effect as it was on the Wii and the PS3. This game did get an Xbox port in Japan, for the record. But that Xbox port never made it over here, so... The logic behind that was, while it did rely heavily on the Wii's motion controls for the Wii port and the PlayStation Move controls, there was an option on the PlayStation 3 to just use a sensible controller. Uh, there was also some DLC in that one, so, you know, that was pretty cool. Uh, the Wii one did not have that because the Wii didn't really support DLC. Uh, what was that called? I think it was Paradise Edition, to be perfectly honest. Damn, son, Tiger. Which is Travis's, like, go-to signature animal, Tiger. Which, uh, they often, they like referencing that in Japan, Tiger vs. Dragon. That was one of the boss fights in 2. Travis's electro-tiger spirit animal thing. Fought a dude who was basically represented by a dragon. And was basically Travis if he wasn't such a, like, screw-up dickhead. So, it was an interesting dichotomy, that fight. It was also, I think, part of it started on a uh, motorbike. But uh, the guy you were fighting got sick of that shit and uh, pretty quickly uh, kicked you off and uh, had a proper fight with you. Um, that's a ramen stall in the traditional Japanese yatai style. Pretty cool. There are ramen stalls from all around Japan throughout each stage. Why? Eating ramen will replenish your energy and power you up. They'll even pump up a chump like you, so be sure to stop by. Ramen is the soul food of Japan. I've traveled all over Japan just for this. What are you waiting for? What the fuck is happening? Oh, I love it already. That's part of why I love these games so much, the No More Heroes games. They're fucking different. Bugjiro. We got a customer. Welcome. Come on in. Give me your best ramen. Sure thing. Here you go. Well, that was easy. I don't get to change my outfits. Hmm. Tokyo Shoyu. Simple and beautiful. Refreshing soy sauce based soup with bonito broth. Nice. Alright, what do you want? Bug extra? Grandpa's words of wisdom. If a man's gonna cry, he should cry in his dreams. If he still wants to cry, he should dry his tears. Thanks. Anything else for me? Nope. 
Interesting. I'm on to you. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But there's definitely more the ear than meets the eye. This is Dr. Juvenile. Looks like you've scored an Azteca stone. You can exchange for a special t-shirt. Hell yeah! Back to the trailer. Absolutely goddamn lootly. Do I get to pick the shirt? Because if your shirts are anything like your Twitter's been revealing, I got uh, some key choices in there. First thing I'm gonna upgrade if uh, level ups have upgrades. Uh, damn battery on the sword. Like that hit me. How dare you hit me, sir? Don't you know who I am? I am Travis goddamn touchdown shit. Thanks for waiting, everyone. Bitch, I'm amazing. See, I would have thought, because bad guy, or bad guy, I keep saying, bad man, he is all over the cover of this game, including, like, you yeah, know, there he is right against Travis. This is Dr. Juvenile, looks like you built up plenty of EXP. Um, and when I open it up, the, uh, the artwork on, like, the inside dust jacket thing is Travis fighting bad guy, bad man shit. And... I really want to know more about Batman! He seems cool, and he's voiced by Steve Blum, who had a very minor part in the first game, but no other game after that. Or, I guess he wasn't in the second game, is what I'm saying. Now, this is Dr. Juvenile. Looks like you built up plenty of EXP. Once you've built up any EXP, you can increase your level from... Yep, okay. Also, EXP is shared, so you can level up Travis or Batman. If you're confident, you can even try skipping the level. What? And seeing how far you can get as is, like a real gamer. Wow, alright, fucking call me out. Let me see what the level ups do before I dignify that particular, uh... Whoops. No, I don't want to level him up. Oh. Okay, so attack power and max HP. Those That's probably what's going to go up. So, Batman has lower attack power but more health. That's really interesting if that's co-op, though, because you have to decide who gets the level up. Ah, damn it. I really, really want to play co-op. And the only one I can think to play with is Kaida. But A, I don't know if this is her game. And B, like, maybe in the future I'll do a co-op playthrough, but... You know, it's like, it would have to conform to her schedule, and I want to play this myself. Nice. So, I mean, I'm probably doing a, uh... Ooh, there's an idea. Once I've, uh, once the two DLC characters are out, because I have the season pass, I might do a co-op playthrough with Kaida, where we are the other characters. Uh, she can be Shinobu or Badman, and I can be, or Shinobu, Badman, or Bad Girl, and I can be... Whichever one she isn't, and I don't particularly like Shinobu, so I'll probably end up being Bad Girl or Bad Man. Let's say I'm gonna be Bad Man unless she's Bad Man, and then I'll just be Bad Girl, and we'll be Father Daughter. But, um... Yes. That is a time for the future. That is a plan for the future. So, tone-wise, this game... And... Frankly, gameplay-wise, I know the top-down thing is very different, but the running around, hacking and slashing and collecting giant coins, that is very much the first two games. I can't get... No. That is very much the first two games. Uh, complete with the giant coins and everything. So... It's not that different, honestly. Thanks! 
my point is I'm enjoying this game immensely already. As well as, um, when I say it's not that different, uh, I do mean it. The top-down is the biggest change I can see, and the combat is, like, that is much smoother, the swinging back and forth. Even the heavy attack, that is significantly smoother and easier than it was on the Wii and PlayStation. And the reason I bring up why this is so similar to the previous games is that each level consisted of about three areas and then a very interesting and colorful boss fight. I don't know how, if that is going to be the case in this one, however. It doesn't look like it, as the level keeps going. Bug Gates. Who the hell are you? What the hell's your deal is my question, I suppose. Well, you're dead now. That's your deal. Hope that was your whole plan from the start there, Bug Gates. I saw it as soon as I ran towards it and was like, I shouldn't do that. I don't know which is the right way to go is part of the problem, though. Not that way. Well, probably that way is the thing. Ha! I made it. So now I'm over here. Suck it. Fuck off and suck it. That is the Travis touchdown way. Hmm. Okay, so that's a way to go, but what's over here? Enemies, eh? Oh, it's a skill card. Sweet! Nice! Look at that little pixel boy. Alright, so what do we got? Uh, heavy chip! Generates an area within which enemies will be slowed down. Sure, go for it. I might as well equip everything while I've only got, you know, it's not even enough to fill up the... Rotary of uh, skills there. And you know, that was coins and all, which is nice, but what's on the harder path? That looks like an Azteca coin, which you get for t shirts, so you gotta get those. not run through the- and it is hurting me, I should stop doing that. Uh, it's killing me only going through these one at a time. There we go. Jerk off my sword real quick, and we're back in the game. Come at me, bro- boys! Alright, so... Nope, nope, I couldn't use it. Damn, they can interrupt the skills, and that's annoying when they do. It's in fact super annoying. Crap! Yeah, I know. Thank you, game. No idea what happened there, but I'll take credit for it. I think What's-His-Face Gate, uh... went and killed everyone. By accident. No idea how health comes back. I would imagine it's the, uh... crates you have to break. Yeah, they are trigger bomb dudes. Yeah. 
Excellent. There wasn't even anything over here, man. I mean, experience, I guess. He makes faces and symbols whenever I pick up coins. It's interesting. Bug extra. Grandpa's words of wisdom. Don't eat at restaurant chains. Picture the ingredients the head officer buys. Picture where the ingredients come from. Picture how they're handled and managed. You can't, can you? Be suspicious of ingredients you can't picture. Okay. What? You'll see a lot of the deathahedrons appearing throughout the game. You can attack them to open doors or perform various other actions. Go on, attack the deathahedron. That seems like a bad idea. Well, I mean, look, I just ran headfirst off a cliff, so what do I know about bad ideas? Alright, here we go. Oh, look at that. I saw that up there. You can't hide from me. Does this heal me? It does not heal me. How do I get health back? Because I haven't died yet. I can't remember what game it was, but there was a... Okay. There was a bug in a game for a while. What happens if I hit it again, real quick? There was a bug in some game where uh, if you swapped the co-op partner, you could have full health still. Yeah, that's what I thought. So now... Okay, I'm trying to get an overhead view of this thing. Okay, so... Yeah, the way I first turned it, I couldn't get to that Deathahedron. But the way I had it in the second... I couldn't go anywhere, really. This way... This way I can get... Okay, yep. I can get to the other Deathahedron. Alright, I'm picking up what you're throwing down, game. It's a puzzle! I can dig it. That'll get me to a chest up there, so I'm going to do that. Although I acknowledge this is not the correct way to go. That was easy. This will be less easy, I imagine. When I was wrong, it was equally easy. Oh, an extra life! Rad! But yeah, I like that Badman over there has the uh, emoticons. But yeah, no, I'd love for Kaida and I to play this game together. Uh, like I said, after I beat it, we'll probably uh, play it once uh, the DLC officially comes out and uh, get that business a going. To give an exa uh, to give slight character to them, I don't know Badman. He is new to this game, but he seems like. Based on the fact that he's bad man, fights with a baseball bat, and carries beer around, he seems like the father of Bad Girl, who, as I mentioned, was the number two ranked assassin from No More Heroes 1. That's literally all there is to her character. She had a weird moment where... What is this way? She had a weird moment later on. Ah, and as Tekka coin. You gotta get the coin. And just let him blow himself up. Not difficult. She had a weird moment where um, she goes nuts with a sword inside of her and tries to kill you, and Travis is like, okay, I give up, you win. But then she dies of blood loss, so... Not exactly a victory in her favor, I suppose. As one would call it. Let's see what... Shit. Alright. Don't like how much health I'm losing. I have got my special move, so that's nice. We're in a weird factory. Oh, shit! It's one of those things. That's just isn't fair, is it? Come on, really? Well, still a little too close to him. Okay, well, I'm probably, yeah, I'm dead. Shit! 
That was annoying as fuck. What was I supposed to do about that? Thanks. Thanks very much. Yes, I will continue now that you mention it. Oh, now they stop coming at me. Am I really expected to believe those were it? If I'd survived two more, I'd have been able to get through. Shinobu ah! was also an assassin from the first game. However, she was a high school girl and Travis kind of felt bad about killing her. So rather than that, he took her arm. Uh, she felt she owed him a debt for sparing his life, so she actually helps him out in the final boss fight for a little bit. Uh, she then, in the second game, re-enters as like a Travis fanboy and is very much Master Senpai, please notice me type. Which, I can't say I was a fan of. You also played as her for a couple of boss fights, and one of them was alright, the other one was kind of piss weak. Grandpa's words of wisdom. Are you brave enough to eat poison? No, I'm not, because I want to keep living. I want to burn the image of my family's faces into my retinas till the moment I die. So don't forget, most restaurant chains are poison. Is that what we're going with here? Is he telling me not to eat at these sushi places? Because, I mean, I'm probably going to keep doing that. Um. Yes. But yeah, regarding Shinobu, I just didn't like her. her she was alright in the first game. I really didn't like her in the second game. And you played as her in the second game, and it just wasn't great. You played as Henry, too, which was also pretty good, but... You know. We don't get Henry. We get Shinobu. I'm kind of keen to see how Bad Girl plays, you know, it's... I don't have anything for or against her, really. It's more interesting than anything else. Do I lose my level if I die? Level 2. No, I do not. I was going to say, it seems like I'm doing less damage than all of a sudden. Okay. So bad girl's name was Charlotte, huh? But yeah, Shinobu's like a samurai type girl. Cool in her own way, but you know, it's just... I felt her character was kind of dumb in the second game's uh, Just wasn't into it. Alright, it should have been dodge rolling, clearly. Oh, sure, I'll save. See, if I'd gotten to you... <sighs> wouldn't have lost that one life I did. Probably would have lost it. Is this how I regain health? Yeah, it is. Power recovered. But anyway, I'll, I'll, well, I'll get more into Shinobu and Bad Girl when uh, I'm actually playing with them. I'm not exploring this area because, yep, boss fight. I knew it. I could already tell it's a boss fight. On the other hand, what the fuck is Sheep Man Red? Are you a... Yeah, it's like something Catherine spit up and chewed out. Although his name's Generic Sheep Man. Are you a player character? Is Triple Star back? No, no, wait, just a visitor from another world. Or are you just some punk? A bit of both. I'm an assassin, just passing through. <sighs> For just passing through, you sure to reek of bloodlust. Yep, you reek of blood, punk. Confirmed, you are a destroyer. Commence slaughter in five seconds. You're a talky-ass monster, aren't you? I'll be merciful and kill you quick. I can't be defeated easily. This is your first test, punk. You know how scary a mid-boss can be? Oh shit, it's only a mid-boss? <laughs> Damn, son! Underestimate me and I'll get you. I'll make sure you die painfully. Dial it back on the pillow talk. Mid-bosses are usually silent. I don't have many friends. <laughs> Fucking goddammit. What the hell does that mean? Don't hesitate for a text box. What? An opening. Ah, oh, shit. We were so distracted by him saying he doesn't have many friends, he was able to get an opening move on us. The bastard. How clever! Shit, shit, shit! 
I don't know his moveset, but I can tell you don't want to be near him when he does that shit. Ow. Let's see how you like them apple. Ah, oh, shit. Come in here. Yeah, that's more like it. I'm gonna heavy attack this guy. Ow, while I can. I could not heavy attack him for a while. Crap. Yep, okay. That was some punishment. Nothing worse than a No More Heroes boss fight than needing to run off into the corner to recharge your weapon. There are plenty of spots, though, where, uh, the boss ah, couldn't hit you. This guy's tough. Let's see how you like my super move. Also, this music we're hearing? This is the music I love. It's like a techno version of No More Heroes music. Stunning him. Ah, oh, crap. Wow, it really is punishing. God damn it. Continue with the full experience. Fuck me. That was not in his range, I thought. At least I was outside of the uh, stun hit area. Shit. Excellent. Fuck you. As Travis so eloquently put it. I'm gonna go back and save. Ah, fiddle. No dialogue at the end there, either. Shame, that boss man. He was only a mid-boss. Damn. This game is taking the ante and upping it. Thank you. Yoink. Are we now on the info space highway? Aztec bomber man is here. Um Well that's annoying as shit. Fuck me, come on, man. It's a new game. How dare a new game have a problem? I swear on me, mum. I was gonna play for a little bit more, too. And then we got the black screaming of doom. He just blew up his all. Blew up my game, apparently. Unexpected error, my foot, man. Come on. Uh... The artwork on the cover is really good. So we'll use this downtime to talk. What do you guys think about the game? I'm enjoying it. Let's read the back of the box. Get into the game. Literally. Hack and slash your way out of the Phantom Console, the Death Mark II. Shut up. Uh, beam katana in hand, Travis strikes again. It doesn't really waste time. You just get right into it. Although, by now, I'm like an hour in. Uh... And I know I talked a little bit at the beginning. I would have expected at least some explanation of what was going on. Like a hint or a tease. You know what I mean? Like a suggestion of what's going on. All we really got was the intro cutscene, which we're lucky I didn't skip. Or, you know, just not record. I started recording what I did. And I Am I going to have to fight this jackass again? I probably will, too. Yeah, looks like I'm fighting this jackass again. Alright, well... Okay, so... I'm going to end this here. Uh, I'm going to pause the game, actually. Uh, just leave it here. Uh, when we come back... This, is, this has been the first episode. Uh, they're not all going to be an hour. This was just sort of like a... Um, 
a tease for, hey, the game came out today, here's what I'm going to be playing for a while, um, along with other games, naturally. Uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door is still coming. I just, I explained about that in Spyro, but I mean, I still need to get my hands on it is the problem. I have every intention of recording it. I just need to actually physically get the game, so, or digitally get the game, uh, as the case may be. Not the point. Point is, uh, do I have a point? That's a good question. Point is, this is the end of the video. I'm going to beat this guy, and when we come back, uh, we will see what's beyond the Infospace Highway. Thanks so much for watching. I've been Token Lad. Talk to you later. Shooting your show. See you around Ask Clans. I am so hyped for this game. I'm already enjoying it quite a bit, and I hope you guys are too.